um, this is the Dayton Historical Commission on um, June 8th, 7 p.m. We're at Oak Town Hall. And I'm Pat Fields, and I'll be following the order. So it is now 701. What did you do, real quick? It's a uh, so, yeah. so we okay. probably should. Sure. All right. Um, my fine name to say here. Our newest member, welcome, Gail. Yeah. <laughs> Ken Pacheco is our liaison. Present. Pam? Yeah. Pat? Here. And Rafa? Here. And I'm Pat Williams. Um, and we'll stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Welcome, Bill. It's good to see you. But okay, I guess. Okay. Bill, you just joined us. Thank you. We're recording and moving along here. Um, Secretary's report, everyone received them. Uh, entertain a motion to waive the reading of the May 11th minutes. I can't make a motion. So, I'll make a motion to waive the reading of the May 11th minutes. Is there a second? All right, second. Napa, all in favor? Gail? Aye. Bill? Aye. Pam? Aye. Pat? Rafa? Aye. And Pat is also in the house. Now I entertain a motion to accept the minutes as presented. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes as Pat, presented. Thank you. Is there a second? I second. Rafa, thank you. Uh, we'll have a roll call vote. I'll start with Rafa. Aye. Pat? Aye. Pam? Aye. Bill? Aye. And Dan? Aye. And I'm also an aye. Okay. Next is the budget report. Um, the FY21 balance as of May 31st, um, 2021, is $1,805.90. Our FY22 budget of $1,000 was approved at the town meeting last night. And that's where we see it right now. Okay. Any discussion? Okay, moving on. Um, unfinished business, Boston Post came. Oh, this one is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, Yes, on June 15th at 5 30 p.m. here at Oak Town Hall, um, we're going to present Mrs. Barbosa's family with her Boston um, Post Paint Award. So we'll be having a little ceremony. We'll have a, a certificate or a proclamation from Ms. Lechman. Um, I thought we should make one from the commission, and I did find one in. Um, some old notes that I had. It was very simple. And it just said the Dighton Historical Commission, Dighton Mass proudly presents. This is the Boston Coast Camp. This is Eleanor Cummings, born in 1914, currently the oldest citizen of Dighton, Massachusetts, presented this the day of January 2013. So I thought we could do something similar and just put it on our Historical Commission letterhead. I'll do that. I also found they have written up a little history of the Boston Post came to be read at the, mm -hmm. the ceremony. But that's good. We'll take that. And I had a little presentation of order of the ceremony from the chairman beginning the presentation, introducing um, the family. Usually we would have an exclusive here, but since Mrs. Barbosa has passed, she won't be here, but the family will be. Um, and then the presentation of flowers and certificates. So that works for everyone. That's good. Um, can I just add one thing? Yeah. When I had that letter typed to Mrs. Barboza, we imprinted it out. 
in the yeah, store. and she used this beautiful with the letterhead, beautiful, you know, cardstock paper that yep. kind of muted brown. It was prettier than obviously just our plain white, just a thought. Maybe yeah, this is a little off white, whitish. It's not, I don't know. Yeah, it was kind of, okay, it's almost so compared to like the color of the map. Yeah, you know, it's it just, how you put it with another white. Yeah, it looks like that. Okay, we'll, we'll make it as fancy as we can. <laughs> Are we going to talk about the logistics of the meeting later or now? Yeah, um, in a few minutes. Yeah, okay. I thought uh, we have the cane and the plaque available. So we'll get them. So um, I'll get them from Mr. Aguiar and have them here. Mm -hmm. um, then we repeat the whole thing on June 28th at 6.30 here for the 2021 recipient, Mrs. Virginia Sylvia. So Pam and Pat are the committee and they've been working on the logistics of the actual event. So the group's here. here. Well, Mrs. Barbosa's family indicated that they've invited 30 people to come. So did you invite the historical society? Yeah. You know who's coming beside us. Are we all coming? Are we all going to be there on the 15th at 5 30? Yeah. Okay, so okay. Talk. one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven of us. You know how many are coming? We're 30, we're up to 37. My question is for Ken, do you know if there's 37 chairs? We have 100 chairs. We do? Yeah. Oh, all right. Are they on this floor? Yeah, they're right over. They're probably in that room right there. Excellent. Oh, okay. 100 chairs. Yeah, okay. okay. So uh, I assume we're going to put out a table. Yeah, a eight foot table. Okay. Um, are we going to serve some sort of refreshment? These people are coming, so you're not. You just intend to say things and say like, you know, goodbye, or do you want to give them something? So all restrictions on food and stuff have to be lifted, correct? Well, yes, we're not that time won't pay for. No, no. I'm no. just putting that out. Okay. We just passed a twenty-three million dollar budget yesterday. We don't want to make it twenty-three million and hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of food. Yeah. Well, my first thought: if we did it on the cheap, um, I don't go to BJ's. Does anybody go to BJ's? Because when I buy the little waters, you get six waters for a dollar. But I guess you can do that in the mat at BJ's. So even if I bought like four six packs, there's twenty-four. Okay, five six packs is thirty. Does everybody want a water? I don't think so. You don't know what kind of day it's going to be. It's nice and air conditioned in here, but it's going to be hot. But they want a water. If we, I know you're a good cookie baker. If we all brought something and put it on this one table, or do you want to get like a cake from Walmart? Which are messy. Cakes are messy, yeah. but it's like it would be like a one shot deal. You either take cake or you don't take cake. You know? Yeah. Whereas a cookie, maybe you'd like to take this cookie and maybe. Or maybe you don't want a cookie, or maybe, and I'm not being fresh, maybe you want two cookies. You know, I mean, it's well, certainly. What kind of cookies are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want chocolate chip, but oatmeal raisin. Oh, well, okay, I'll eat Ken's chocolate chip then. <laughs> but oatmeal raisin. Maybe we need to like <laughs> so, Yeah, we might be one of the ones baking the cookies. So uh, if Ken wants whatever Ken wants, you can get right on it. Do you want to do that? And, and that way, I'll gladly spring for the water. Um, am I going to be reimbursed for the flowers when I buy flowers? That's a good question. Yeah, well, let's answer it now because well, I okay. think flowers. Absolutely. So, have you ever had another presentation to someone in your experience? Can you just gather one of them? There we go. I'm not that one. Yeah. Just maybe a little less than that. Some of them sell too, so I'm going to sweep them. Yeah. Did well. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. All right, so I'll I'll bake cookies. I'll bake cookies. I'll bring fruit punch. I have this humongous like jelly. I like that. Oh, idea. I like that idea better than the water. Yeah. It's the plastic bottle. Now. I like raspberry. So we're not doing water. We're going to do punch. That means we need cups. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna bring like fancy napkins, something pretty. Mm -hmm. And if we put a platter of cookies, a platter of cookies, a plate, you, you don't need a plate. You know, you take a napkin, you walk mm -hmm. around, you get your right. cookie, you get your punch, and mm -hmm. hello, this is what we're having. Is right. that what you want to do? Yeah, I like that idea. Just I'm still hung up on the flowers though too. And a small, a small paper, yeah, not, not teeny weeny weeny, but yeah, small, not don't give me an eight ounce one. But when I'm filling anybody up, yeah, no. 
couldn't, you should find out from Mike Mullen whether or not you can spend money for flowers from our, our budget. We have a budget. Yeah, that's what I was wondering if we have, we it's just, 1800. you know, 1,895 flowers. I'll find out because I have a list of questions. You can have a book of flowers here. Well, I was going to, I'm doing my Congress, my okay. dear Mrs. Sylvia's house, my Congress is local, but some set, whatever you want. But does she have cut flowers? How about they do? Yeah. Oh, oh they're not. Not. Oh, no. If they're not, they're not big, but they're big, you know, flowers, and you can have flowers, those set flowers. Oh, is that done? Yes. She's on Maple Street. I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that. Bayberry's on Maple Street. Uh, and we have plenty of chairs, so that's not yeah. a concern. And we have a trash bag on the top of the trash bag. Yeah, bring the trash bags and take out all of our trash. It will be no complaints about we don't need it nice. Right. Who sets up the chairs? We will. We will. Yeah. Okay. And I have just a nice um, cheap table that covers the roof up. Oh, that's great. That's great. Thank you. So people will be here at five then? So yeah. 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 Okay. Can we? Can we get in the building at five? Yeah. Okay. And they'll be, yeah, we shouldn't take us a half hour to set up. No. You don't want to use it right in the background, do you? want it to paint it? Why would you Is it going to be a <laughs> Well, we'll have to yeah, be, uh, <laughs> the, yeah. It's a meeting at 7, so we have to be cognizant of that. So that's okay. start at 5 30. So, well, well, I'm thinking like a half hour and then we're out. Yeah. Of yeah. 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 Well, so we're probably about in 30 minutes, but. Right. Yeah. The whole thing should get much longer than that, and then people go around and, you know. Okay, yeah. so we're going to do the same type of thing on it. So we're not going to have another meeting before then. No. So what you bring for one, you're going to bring for another? Yeah. Will you do punch again? How many people are expecting? The first time, like 45 to 50. The second time, they brought, they wanted to bring six people. Did you invite them to both the Circle Society? No. Did you invite I don't them to know both? I now that you said that. I'll check with them. So is everyone's calendar good for the 28th? And that's at 6.30. That's at 6.30. Right? But it should be a much smaller. So we'll be here for 6.00. Yeah. Right. yeah. All right. I'll send the date to everyone. And I'm also going to invite um, Maria, the town of Story, um, to walk with them. Mm -hmm. Am I forgetting anything? Jazz to sit down. Flowers to hand to the person. Oh, and uh, Mrs. Barbosa's daughter is graciously going to bring some framed pictures of her mother. Oh, so nice. at least we'll get to nice. see, you know, what she looked like and nice. stuff. And it's nice to have, yeah. Okay. Who wants to read the same thing? How about, um, oh, the newspaper. Oh. Rafa, could you contact Michael? Can you do that for us? Sure. Okay, do you want to do it once for the first one? Do you want to do it all inclusive for the first one and the second one together? Or do you want to Definitely. do it? Not that. You probably want to write. I wouldn't do it twice. You two totally different people. Yeah, it's just really That's all right. What do you want? Let's ask. 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 What is the second one? 28. What is the first one? 15. Okay. Uh, and didn't he want of the description of the Boston Post Game Award itself, so that when the, if they do something for the newspaper, he would put that in there? So does he already have something? All right, we can certainly provide him a copy of this. I can scan this and send it to you, Rabbi. Sure. Because um, I think he would want to put some of that, you know, in the, right, right. Mrs. Sylvia just asked because um, she's older 
and her hearing is not, you know, 100 percent. And she just said that she didn't want to be like interviewed because she'd be afraid she wouldn't hear the question properly and answer wrong. So if he promised to take a picture, that's great, but he wouldn't ask her anything. Right. Or if he's you could tell him ahead of time. Right. You're not gonna ask her anything. Yeah. Okay. Um, her son Ed, mm -hmm. he provided the information. Yes, he did. And I said, anything else you can tell me? He said, my mother led a very uneventful life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Pam's story reads like Gone with the Wind, and mine is like four sentences. I did hear that back from. from let, let me ask Burke, Brenda and see if you can pull them a little bit to get some more information. Or she might have some details too. Women are just better talkers. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, if you had to ask my son to describe me yeah. <laughs> or my daughter <laughs> to describe, describe me, <laughs> yeah. Um, she goes and She nags. <laughs> yeah. But so obviously I, I was with Bert over an hour on Sunday. So she had lots to say. I, you know, I toured her late mom's apartment. I saw the pictures. Um, nice old picture with her with her siblings. So, but again, male perspective. <laughs> and I, I did hear my, she's, got back to me by email because at the end of the day I did I was able to email her um the little bio the write-up and she said to me she said thank you so much um I'll talk to my brother about the tractor he's by far I'll talk to my cousins and see if they know what my grandma's past from and if they have anything to add or change she'll be in touch with me tomorrow so she okay. seems like everything was okay on that and we'll leave that on yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, keep all in suspense until then. <laughs> it's a very nice it is. story. It is. It's very, it, very nice. It was a really nice. Um, I I enjoyed I enjoyed her. You know, it's nice to make a new friend. Oh. Um, so. Okay. Anything else that we need to do for our award ceremonies? If you covered anything, we're not dressing up for this, are we? No. Yeah. Oh, this was where I found. Oh, all right. <laughs> I mean, you know, Bill, put the suit on. You, you and her. <laughs> I think we should have a brass band. Oh, a brass band. It's called the Dayton Rehobit band. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just wear like a summer dress that I wear to work. And I just slap around in the morning. Screws up. That's what I would do. But I'm not going to tell you what to do. <laughs> There's no dress code. <laughs> do you have to see if we had a promotional um, t shirts? That would be good. Okay, uh, the display case. That's our display case right there from the school. Nice. Um, it will be refinished. Hmm. It's going to have a back on it, and I think that, that might be the piece of wood there. And I'll have an opening so that it will open from the back uh, to be able to take display items in and out. It'll be on wheels so that it can pull out easily. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's a work in progress. Inside will be the uh, Medal of Honor. My favorite name is the Medal of Honor. That's been changed. Oh, that's been changed yes. again? So I thought it was going to the police station. I did as well. Because we had the ceremony to the police station after the service. Yeah. So, so is it going to stay there? Probably. Okay. So we have all the shelves then. Um, but we are going to need two things. We're going to need holders for the cane because it's a, the display case is going to move when we want to change something or put something in. You don't want that to be rolling right. around. And a stand or something for the plaque. So Pam, I don't know if JC Trophy would have such a thing, a, a table a stand that would hold that. How big is the plaque? It's good size. Good size. Maybe that one in between the two. Yeah. Maybe. That's good. Um, it's, it's a good it's hefty. I think it's a good. You know, like those plate. Right. Like those right. They have. Yeah. 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 And some of them are even clear. So, I mean, it wouldn't be an ugly thing. Right. And maybe you'd need two because it's heavier yeah, it's than heavier. Well, you can get a different sizes too. Yes. Yeah. So I think 
Could you mm -hmm. talk with Paul and I see what he recommends and we can work on getting that? And as far as the cane goes, um, Jim felt they could divide something out of wood to kind of support it and hold it so it could be viewable. Okay, what I thought for that is that you even had two boxes. They don't have to be anything nice and you cover it like with a black cloth so that your under the cloth is invisible. And you just, you know, one box would be taller than the other box. So the cane would be like, and it's all black, so it's like sitting there. Oh, oh I like that idea. idea. Even with a white piece of fabric. Not white. Now, you want black, no, you but it'll blend in with the cane. Yeah. yeah. They want the cane to stand out. The cane has brass or gold or whatever it is on it. So white looks cheap. Black looks. What about that? White blue. White blue. Green, now that. Green, use a green. cut egg carton. Seriously. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? You just have a cut egg carton that goes up. And cut. You're right. You could use anything at this point if it's covered with a nice So we have to make sure that it's secure. So right. That when it rolls, the case moves up. It doesn't go through the glass. Right. I use all the time the double sided gorilla tape. Remember that? Yeah, we don't have a tape on the cane. No, no. On the bottom of the cloth. Yeah, right. I no, we have to put tape on that. Yeah. So if your support underneath had a cutout, mm -hmm. that's the, the tall okay. end yes. Yes. So okay. that's the tape would set an angle. And that sticky tape would go, be invisible on the bottom of whatever, whatever however we secured the best, the cloth. Um, okay. So yes, it wouldn't be. But Jim said they could make something. Before. Yeah. They could, they could yeah. yeah. I do like the cloth because then you can, you can angle it. Like right, but if you have something that you can always put the cloth on top of what it's doing. The green cloth. Okay. Right. Um, so that's the display case. Next is, does anyone have anything else about the display case? So we'll continue working on that. See what Jim comes up with for the thing we will have. I'm telling my our cloth idea. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, July 10th, Parks and Rec event. So first we have the, the vendor items that Pam did some research on. So Pam, you work with Mallards at Fall River. Mm -hmm. Well, did everyone take a look at everything that Pam sent? Pam, you want to talk to it a little bit? So the only concern with the shirts, and I would have to agree, is our seal is a little busy. And if you're thinking that your typical emblem is maybe like a button size, you know, political button, it might be tough to fit that seal. So then when I talked to her, um, the, the decision that we were coming up with was just centered Dighton Historical Commission just the plain lettering. Um, and then embroidery always looks better than them and it's more durable than the stamp. Uh, I put in for 20, I, she's checking if she can get you know, a lesser amount. I just thought we'd give her a nice even number, whether it's 10, um, maybe past, I don't know. I don't so know. I talked with what we, Chris, uh, the accountant asked you what would be appropriate. And as long as it's for the permission member to use, we can use the seal and order the shirts. That would be appropriate. I think 10 would be sufficient. 20 is like a lot of shirts. That's a lot of shirts. Yes. So, and obviously, the more you buy, the cheaper they go. But we right. would still have plenty to do. Right. So you're saying the embroidered one. That 10 would be two, two ninety-nine fifty. Um so one polo shirt each is approximately twenty-nine ninety-five. Uh, and then it might be up. Well, it's probably going to be up a little bit when we go with just 10. 
and then the digitizing fee is 30. I'm also going to see if because now we don't have a fancy emblem, we just have plain lettering, she would lower that. And shipping, as far as I know, it's done right local, so I can pick it up. Mm -hmm. like. what, what kind of script uh, of what, what font are you going to use for? Yeah, that? I don't know. It's whatever. Like an antique font type of you know, the fact that you... And that was more of the aerial that you showed. Yep. I got a nice clear block print, you can easily see it, you know. I think just, that's... Yeah. Just block lettering, though, rather than um, just the model I, font? I sent you the email. You Did you see where, where I sent... I just centered it? I don't even know. Okay. Um, I, I don't think that's really... I vote, I guess. It's a minor Um. So there's a plan to get this order in quickly so that we, we could have it for July. You said you need 12 days to be done, right? We can encumber the funds as long as we have a quote for it that I can say this is the amount of money that we need to save from fiscal year 21 to spend in fiscal year 2022. Um, as long as I have the quote that says that the, the price is. So if we're, we're adjusting this, um, I will have that by Friday. The quote regarding if digitizing fee can go down because we're not doing the fancy seal that day. And the fact that we want 10 shirts and if everyone can just see me after the meeting, we don't have to publicize our sizes. <laughs> no, or, you know, I need everybody to tell me what size shirt you have. Well, so my only concern on that, did you hear her say that she got herself an extra large? A woman's extra large. They run small. Yeah, so what are we, you know, sorry, what am I going to get for it? Um, um, let's see, she's got, they all sizes up. I know, but how do I know what size to tell you is my point. Well, you know, it's running small. They run small. Well, plus, if you're ordering 10, there's only four. Five members now. Six members. Six members. So some of these will be future members, I think. Right. So, right. So you can play around with some of the sizes. Right. Is there a the difference reason. between the men's and the women's look? Uh, I didn't see one. No, because, because then you know we could get like, well, look, she's a woman's extra large, so you get a man's extra large. I don't know, Rafa. What would you think? What uh, they run small? So would you want a large? They run small. Uh, how do you know they run small? Because she has one. Oh. But mind you, so I've had mine remember? for two years. So I don't want to be held to that. So my questions that I'm gonna going to ask Carrie tomorrow will be, does she feel like they run to size? Can we eliminate any shipping cost? Can we eliminate no. digitize, not eliminate, can we lessen the digitizing fee because it's really not much to digitize, it's just letters. And then can we, uh, yeah. so right now we need to decide color. We need to decide um, sizes after the meeting, but if she if she should say, or I can email you all and say she says they tend to run small, large, I don't know. And then a color. I put in for, I asked her, oh, she doesn't have this one here. But I put in, you know, a new color. I thought we gray. The white letters always seem to look better. So. It doesn't matter. Okay. Are you sure you sent the email? I'm sure I did. Yeah. So, all right. So, so it was about how much shirts? Yes. Um, if we make a motion not to spend more than $300. Well, let's say, let's put third, let's round it off to 35. Don't be generous. So yeah, times 10. So that's 350 plus the digitizing fee. 
No. Yeah. I think we, we can make that happen. So the, the polo shirts would cost us 300, approximately $380. So we want to make a motion going to 400. Yeah, because, just some yeah, what I'm thinking is we're not leaving the gap. Right. So if we have it not to exceed it, we get the quote that comes in. I can just submit like that quote, I think. Would that work, then? We went this by the powers to read that it's okay to you. Uh, Chris said yeah, as long as it's for um, historical permission of use. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can ask again. Why oh, you don't think it's I don't know for yeah. sure when it was maybe you might be asked that's right. right. You said you want to talk to me. Yeah, like eight. Right. That's, that's, that's the one I always use. Uh, sometimes it takes a while. And my question, Chris, is just the point. No, so he's leaving shortly, and we won't be having a good time to talk to him shortly. That is what. That was the thing. Okay, that's a lot of time. That's just like, you know, there we go. Go back to it. Wash and launder. Yeah, it's not going to be a good time. Yeah, it's not going to be a good time. Yeah, it's not going to be a good time. Yeah, it's not going to be a good time. Yeah, it's not going to be a good time. Yeah, it's not going to be a good time. Yeah, it's not going to be a good time. All right, I'll. Check with Mike. In the meantime, um, I'll ask those questions. Oh, do they run run to size? Can we waive the shipping cost? Can we lower the digitizing fee now that we can count things in M1? And I think that was it. But I, I did like the idea of I can that maybe we just get, you know, a general men's like medium large, extra large, just to cover future commissions, or if someone goes home, tries their shirt on, and says it's a really uncomfortable, tight, too small, they maybe have some leeway to then exchange their shirts. So I, I did like that idea. I think that's All right. Cool. So I'm thinking, however we make motion pending approval from the town administrator. Uh, this is the motion I'll entertain. <laughs> Um, pending approval from the town administrator that we purchase 10 polo shirts from Mallard Printing, not to exceed the cost of $380. So I'll make a motion of pending approval from the town administrator that we purchase 10 polos from Mallard Printing, not to exceed $380. I'll second that. Okay. I do because I, I feel that we still haven't narrowed down our um, color. Well, if you ask me, I always have that blues. <laughs> a medium blue or a navy blue? Well, I can maybe to blue. Because she quoted me the lake blue and the navy and the sand dune. But I agree, our white is, is going to blend in too much. Yeah. So we've eliminated sand dune. It, it, whatever is everybody's comfortable with. Yeah. This blue, that blue. So I would consider Ken's shirt navy. <laughs> and uh, you know what lake blue is. It's, it's the lighter blue. I don't think we need to go with the white on collar because no, that doesn't look historical and it's in the blue money. Keep it simple. I'm fine with the bag. Oh, you can't. Oh, he's fine. Especially Yeah. Maybe doesn't. Maybe doesn't. Okay. No, not yet. Yet. We've already discussed that. <laughs> Any other discussion? And are we okay with that generic letter yes. that I showed? Okay. I think the center of the better, the easier for you. Yep. Yep. And we'll vote. Wrap up? Aye. 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 And I am also on the item. The other items. Oh, before we continue, I just want to say that I looked at 
Um, I tried to contact the designs to signs in Dayton on William Street, but I don't know if they're in business anymore because I emailed, called, and this was right and I went and I never responded to my email, so I gave up. But then just for comparison, I looked at this to print, and their polo shirts ran um, like $30 per unit with the seal. Um, 10 of those shirts would have cost $294.46. I also looked at pens for them, so we can talk about that when we get there. So, just so that we looked at different vendors. Of course, this is the, um, on the Vista print, you're building it as you online. Right. Um, I don't know the quality of the shirts or the print or anything like that. So, okay. All right, right. I did check with um, Paul at JC Trophy again. He yeah. does do these items. I put in the email the reasons that I didn't really feel comfortable trusting the turnaround. Okay. Okay. Well, it's a great guy for that other items. Okay, next are the pens. You have two pens that you showed, Dan. Mm -hmm. um, one was a sky blue, and it had the Dighton Historical Commission. Um, I, it's a uh, Nice looking pen. They're 250 at 62 cents each for a total of 155 dollars with a set of 15 15 dollars. And the other choice was that's they called it a syntactical pen. That's a little yep. The other pen was the light blue one. They were 50 cents each. Um, the 250 was $125 with a $20 set up fee. So does anyone have any? That'll be white print on the light blue pen? Yeah. yeah. I was just, do you want to make a match the shirt? Because <laughs> <laughs> if you took the light blue shirt with the white print, you want to have your pens match the shirt? Matchy, matchy. Well, <laughs> um, well okay, that's you. another question for her. If, once we, if, if we decide on a pen, I'll ask if you a navy, darker navy pen. Could be. Could be. They're both navy. Yeah. You don't think because it's the historical commission it should be a federal one? I, I love that. I looked. You know, fluffy turkey. No, no cheese pens, so please. I did cheese pens. Don't you? We're going to try that. Click, click, click. Yeah. Even Ticonderoga pencil, not being the USA anymore. I don't have a dog thing. Well, I liked the Sympatico one, you know, um, it's just a nicer looking pen, it's just has a nicer shape to it. But the other pen is called Sense Cheaper for pen. Do you get to choose the pen, the type of pen you want? And is there a price so you can One's both sense of okay. more than the other. So you, you know you want to you don't want uh, I always get a bad impression when an organization sends me a pen if it's a junk pen you know one that feels sort of like junk and so I don't know you know obviously don't want to spend too much money but mm -hmm. anyway. they're good pens I think yeah. we, we've always picked two. Okay. It's the pen you pick up at Florida restaurants to 99 restaurants to any nonprofit agency. I, I feel good that the pen is pretty good. Are you top either one of them? So it doesn't make any difference. So then I would suggest that we go with the least expensive one. Least expensive. Yeah. Is there something so we hand it out? Yes. Yeah. We just thought that if someone had any questions or I, I, I like to get pens, that's just me. So, all right. Um, and on this, just put the Dighton Historical Commission. Just the lettering again. Yep, we'd yeah. like the lettering to match the shirt. Right. And we just have a set of color ink. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, 
Oh God. <laughs> Rainbow. Okay, yeah. Rainbow. 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 Listen, I, I will ask that question. If there's one that's half a cent less, that's blue. Blue or black. Whatever is half a cent less. <laughs> is that a job thing? No, I wish. Because like this I is a paper name, but yeah. You gotta remember that non-black team doesn't work for like for or other types of things. Well, they have specific pens there now. You know, you have to use people. So before you can assign it, what was it? Rule or something? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to have a question pens. Two hundred and fifty pens for one hundred twenty-five dollars. Yeah, there's a second. Any more discussion? Okay, so you want Gail? Aye. Bill? Aye. Pam? Aye. Pat? Aye. Pat? Aye. And I'm also on high. And these are to be handed out at the July 10th day. Can also be searched wristbands. Uh, you know, the rubber wristbands that you wear, and say that in the historical commission on it. Or is it going to say, I have that? Oh, I have that. Who wouldn't want an I have one? I really had <laughs> an attachment to these rubber wristbands, and I sure my collection is. A collection in your car. I have a collection in my car on the ship, so. I return one and then brought one and you know really? what well, what do you want one of those? So anyway, I said, okay, I look into it. So there's your answer. So that doesn't change the cost of them? To say I heart? Yeah. Oh no, it that's what we want. That's, that's what she yeah. said. Okay, oh, okay. okay. I think I did. Yeah, I think yeah. I did the right one now. But okay, they match the shirts. But yes, we're gonna. Or yes. do we get multi colors? That would look nice too, though. Multi colors on the same. Oh, maybe right. Yeah. Yeah. The rainbow. The rainbow. In okay. honor of Raffa, oh, we're gonna have multi colors. Multi -color. All right. I still don't think I want hot cake. Raffa, I'm sorry. That's fine. I, little girl would. Yeah. Yeah. Little girl. Okay. 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 Next year. Not. So rainbow um, colors. Yes. Yes. About multi colors. I will ask about that. On the description, if one color is the light blue, so it may uh, be different pricing if you're doing all kinds of different colors. Okay. Um, yes, I will. I will ask if we can do all colors. Okay. So these are 150 wristbands, cost of 81 cents. When I looked at this, they were very expensive. Fifty with like hundred and eighty-five. They have to well, I'm not sure what numbers you were looking at. So obviously, this is a better deal um, for a total of one hundred twenty-one dollars, and they include an one hundred twenty-one dollars and fifty cents. And the estimated shipping is said thirty-five. Is that shipping to you or like I said, I think they go to Fall River. Or come from Fall River. So the point is, if I'm in Fall River every day, how do you pick them up? That's one of my questions. Okay. Okay. Have those shipping waiting. Okay. And I will ask, um, we want to go with Rainbow, just the five heart cousin. So. And if not Rainbow, mm -hmm. then I think the price would be fine. All right, so what we did, I'll entertain a motion to purchase the wristbands for the Mallard, 150. At 81 cents each for a total cost of 156 to 50. Um, I make a motion to order from our the 150 rubber wristbands that would come to a total of 156 to 50, hopefully without shipping. Well, without them, our hope is that they can be able to cover. So does that include tax then? Does that one just go with higher than the thing? Do we pay does the town pay taxes? Not supposed to. No. 
from the she, she didn't have taxes. Right. What did we buy last time? We bought the company and we didn't pay tax, right? right? Right. We do the historic commission does have the tax exempt number. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We use that on the on the plan. Yeah. But you didn't charge any tariffs because I did explain that we were who we were. I didn't mean that. Well, they also say that they did the trade tax at the 10% over on an underline. So it's requesting the exact quantity at 10% to the order from special handle. So that would only apply to the shirts. No, it's to the wristbands. The pens. And the trade ten percent over one or under one. But we don't have an over one or an under one. We went with exactly one fifty. Yeah, but when they run it, it depends on their machine. So if there's like errors, if the bus one doesn't come off right and takes a minute for the machine to get up to speed, you could end up with 145 instead of 150, or you could end up with 154 on yeah. the so. so you pay the 10%. Is it that's what we did too when we ordered the um the clothes for the society? There was always the okay. Should that figure be high then? Yeah. Maybe it was 75 just to cover. Right. Okay, let me definitely ask about that. What we can do, I mean, we could meet again and just do these things. But as soon as we get the, I get the quotes, and we get them to the town accountant, we're better off we got. I'll do my best to have my friend. All right, so, and you were saying on this one, like, we're at 156.50. Probably in the summer. Because it goes over to the fact that you don't have that on the Yeah. If you can't be zoned, it's going to just be a short thing. Yeah. Couldn't you make a motion to go with a uh, 10% override of every purchase in the event of they run over? So, wouldn't that vote cover? What are you saying? She said those votes were very specific. Just I know, so yeah. this one would be an umbrella motion. I'm not going to complain about it, but it's... So, because on the shirts, we said not to exceed, we have to revisit that, those motions. And just to uh, speak in something, Pat asked for a motion, and she said it's a motion. Somebody can just say, so I move, I so move, without having to repeat that motion. <laughs> Unless it's helpful to uh, Pam, the right way, right okay. way. I love that idea. <laughs> Should we write? Can you make a motion that we shot the motion? All right, so let's do the, um, the wristbands again. So I'll entertain a motion to purchase the wrist, wristbands not to exceed $175. I still need. Is there a second? Mm -hmm. Don't wait for I'm trying. I'm trying that. I second. Rafa? Rafa? Aye. Bill? Aye. Bill? Aye. And I'm a tie. All right. Can we revisit? Uh, I guess we're going to reconsider our motion on pens. Because on the pens we said 145. Mm 
160 DMR? I think I'd go right back and see the 165. Okay. Um, that purchase the 250 pounds. I would say a motion to reconsider. Now I'm getting off trouble with my words. Our motion on the pens to increase it to 165 to purchase the pens. I so move. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Um, wrap up. Aye. Pam? Aye. Bill? Aye. Yeah, and I'm also Hello, what about Pat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Pat. You want to stop rolling eyes? <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Keep me on my toes. That was a test. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's visit the really promoting on the shirts. Um, so we'll reconsider the amount on that one. We said 380. And then say 420. Yeah, 420. To purchase the polo shirts, not to exceed $420. There are motions. Is there a second? I'll second. All right, Gail? Aye. Bill? Aye. Pam? Aye. Pat? Aye. Pat? Aye. And I'm also on time. Okay. The other thing that Pam looked into was bags, tote bags. Um, when we had just, I don't, we didn't really discuss tote bags, so. And when I asked to use our, our seal, I only asked to use the seal for the um, polo shirts from the pound park. So I don't know if we really need tote bags, my personal opinion. I think if we do tote bags, we, we don't really need a lot of them because I think a lot of people are going to take them. Oh, so they need a lot of them. be a little bit of expense. Yeah. I love to bag too. But I understand maybe we're getting a little greedy. <laughs> so I will wave the top hat next year. <laughs> okay. All right. So Pam, if you would get the, that information to me, all of this is pending. What Mike says is you know, I can talk um talk to Chris. And we'll just double check it to make sure everything is in order and we'll get that done. Okay. I'm excited. Oh, now next is we talked about candy for the table. So the town does have uh, WBA, so I don't know if you want to do this or not. I look at candy, we're going to be in July. So chocolate is not the top favorite because mm. it'll melt on the table. Mm. So they had hard candy, you can buy two pounds of hard candy. It's the mixed, um, you know, striped candy, butternuts, um, butternut squash. Butternut <laughs> squash. <laughs> Those kids are going to run up to that table. <laughs> 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 squash candy? Yeah. Just like having fire in the uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> jelly beans. <laughs> Uh, it's very so, historic. 300 years ago, those kids ate that. The old fashioned kids watched the kids. Oh, no. Uh, so they had those for two pounds, or it's 1648. And then they also had a Tootsie Rolls, a five pound bag, is 1447. So I'm just bringing it, you know, it's an item that we talked about. Um, so, what's your pleasure what you want to do with it. I think the hard candies would be yeah. seen a little more historic. I think they're probably not kid friendly. I agree with you. Well, chocolates are my favorite. <laughs> Me too, but I agree with you. Neil Reese's peanut butter. <laughs> not bad. What is the best? Yes. All right. So let's get a tub of the two pound tub. 
If you can't work, that would be amazing. I know it takes a couple of days to come through. So, do you want to see what the Friends of the Library plan on doing? And do you care if there's candy here, candy there? No, no, it's no. never not candy. No. Could you put it out? It kind of fills your table a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Um, so the other thing is we have our table, so we, and we have our things that we want to spread out on the table, but we have to think how we are going to advertise ourselves. Um, so I was thinking if we ordered you know, two trifold things, poster boards, made some displays of pictures about our historic districts, or something about the history of Dayton, something that talks about you know, what we're all about, basically. Thoughts? Other than it, that seems like a little, a bit of work. Because we have to think what is going to draw people to come and visit us besides our trying to face the city here. Freebies. The freebies that the you're freebies passing out. Think that's going to be enough. They're going to say, where'd you get that? Oh, and then over there, and then they're going to go over there. I think we should have. Ooh, no, we can't. John, yeah. he's going to yell at us. That would be actually a great idea. But, and when you're gone, and if we don't get enough people, <laughs> you know, I, I would love, I would love a banner. I know I'm getting really greedy now, but I would love a banner. It has kind of those grommets and come in all different sizes. You know what I'm talking about. Some are cloth. Hmm. But what would we use it for other than this? You know, um, I don't know. We hang in the back room. We have meetings. I mean, yeah, it's nice. It's just when we get our money's worth, we we'll use it enough, right? right? I mean, if this is successful, and I know I'm going on a one here, maybe this is an annual event with the parks board. Maybe mm -hmm. it's just that. It maybe it could be. It could be. But we could save our banner for next time then, if we figure that. But we could just make. We could put a picture of a flag. We could, we're going to put a picture of the house flag and some house marker mm -hmm. applications there. So that people can see that. Um, oh, you were you were going to bring the leftover um, certificate, the um, proclamation yeah. from whatever they were from the. Uh, and 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 yeah, yeah, you have that. Don't oh, okay. They have to ask them to yeah, yeah. Okay. Because we all agree those are beautiful. We need to see those. Now, Robin, maybe you could do a wildflower display too. Uh, maybe table, just one good. display in my space. Well, I would, that would probably look like it's a wildflower. Little flower. Little flower. Little flower. We should have something. Somehow we have to have something that people know that ties to the history. Just too bad those pamphlets weren't completed, right? Those, those would be perfect. But I, I think we're okay. I mean, if we have um, maybe just a, a quick bullet paper that explains we were the strawberry capital one year, what year will be found in, um, you know, do, I, yeah, bullet point. What about a giant printout of? Uh, one of the documents from 18th century, way back, the, the one that we found in the vault, that said to pass the like men yeah. and order all the just and liquor if they don't. Wow. So cool. Maybe okay. that or um, I like that idea, just a yeah. copy that people, yeah. Yeah. anything that we think is interesting, you yeah. know, when they were yeah. building the new fridge or exporting some of the strawberries or building. Well, what about a picture of, or an illustration of Scott Georgeberg? Why don't we solicit like a male model who has that? <laughs> well, nobody knew, nobody else to see what who was trying to write one. Maybe we should have a, a little Like a little quiz. We can have like a little game and distribute prizes and stuff. Just to entice.
Did you see that double color tote bag go to that center? Oh, All right. Wait, so wait. this week we have a little information card for the Northern Historical Commission. Mm -hmm. It's like these. Yeah. Because the Historical Society has one. You mentioned them the other time, so I went through my, I've got stuff up here. There's plenty of them. There's one on Winslow Davis, one on the Dyke Historical Society. Oh, that was that's really neat. One Which, on strawberries. The Historical Society of people have a table. Yeah. Well, table. I'm saying we should have a card like this for us. Yeah, you think you can have the right hand, we can be able to. Uh, something to pass out to people. Yeah, I wrote this is for most of our There's one who did it. Oh, she got one. Let's please take care of them. Let's please take care of them. Let's take care of them. Let's take care of them. They're beautiful. They are. We could do something like that with the Dutch Historic Commission. We could produce a map from, like we do already have a historical society, if they would like to use a map. Right. Or they could use it themselves. I know. Just... I'm just getting ideas from the historical society. Oh, how many are they? We're going to have chocolates. I like that. We have chocolate and we're going to go up to five. We're going to go up to five. We're going to go up to five. These are beautiful. They have the card stock and everything. They're beautiful. 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 So you want to put the historical society's cards? No. On the table? Oh, well, no. I have my own card. You can have a historical commission okay. card. With us. I've seen it. Yeah. A few yeah. times. A few times. <laughs> so who printed those? They remember? were done by... Um, <laughs> it's not DeVault. DeVault. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is the card that we received at the proclamation and certificate of recognition for um, the book private Frederick Charles Anderson. So when we went, I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. It's beautifully done. Nice picture. Beautiful. The write up is, is moving and emotional. Yeah, we liked these. We commented on these. They were beautiful. Got back to the card. Beautiful. Nice. Very classy. Very, very classy. All right, so we'll come up with something that shows who we are. So this we indict. We're not a society. No, we're not a society. We are different. And there's nothing in our teenage way. It's <laughs> out. Wow, that's insane. Oh, he's got something in these. Yeah. So, are you guys going to have a uh, pop up tent? That was my um, yep. Oh, that's our uh, planning. Okay. So, planning and setup. It's over right there on the track. It will be set up somewhere on the track. So, population thing. Oh, jeez. Okay. I know she's looking. I'm very into my stuff, as you should be. So, oh, the time of this event is two to six. I emailed Kevin Smith today, and Sarah begins at noon. Do we have a pop up tent? I can get a pop up tent, yes. And my husband has volunteered to move what we need. Okay. Do we have a table? I mean, I have a table, but it holds the property transport. Yeah, we can do it. I don't think it's eight foot. It's probably six foot. Yeah, it's usually six feet. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so you have one of those? I have one of those. And again, I have a three foot. Yeah. You can bring your own chairs. Yeah, yeah bring your own chairs. Now, Okay, we talked about the posters. Um, 
table to the board. Is everyone available on the tenth to participate? Yeah. Yes. Do we want to all be there all at once, or do you want to divide up into teams of three? Um, want to set up to be there for a couple of hours, or however you want to work it? I can do um, noon. To set up, maybe I'll do like you know, two. Well, what are the hours of this event? Two to six. What is it? Two to six two on six. the tenth. So if I get there at noon and set up, not gonna take that long. Go home for a little bit, and maybe I don't know, maybe the two or four. Four hours basically. Four hours basically, yeah. And plus, you know, see maybe an hour to set up uh, 15 minutes to take it down. Yeah. Oh, I'd love help getting set up. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I can set up. Yeah, sweet. The pop up tent is just the blue pop up tent. And then. Is it navy blue? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to expense that pen? No, it's a bright. Yeah. All right. Uh, I mean, we all can be there to do whatever it is. And people can come and bother us. They see fit. They can, just as long as we have people. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, because I know. I was going to but if it's. Yeah. yeah, we're all around as well. We meet, meet people and recruit people. And, um, you know, if it's too, too hot, I know four hours outside can be. Yeah, it's like, we'll just yeah. rotate if we need All right. Yeah. So we'll all be there at noon just. To plan to set up. Uh, I believe Kevin is coming to the selectmen's meeting tomorrow to talk about the particular Yes, this, uh, on July 10th, the select, um, the board select has a meeting from 1131. And then I've got the Historical Society, I've got the Commission on Disability. I want to ask that the board select can also set up the table so we can hear questions and yeah. give some answers to townspeople. And I, this, uh, I'm going to be kind of voting. Yeah. I'm probably going to be doing more set for the historical society. Yeah. yeah. So well, other problem. groups have confirmed. Uh, I think there are friends of the library mm -hmm. are going. Mm -hmm. uh, I honestly don't know whatever. Everybody's been invited, but the uh, human, actually, another commission along with the Human Rights Commission will also have a table there. So I don't know. That's good. I think it'll be a great day. Yeah, yeah the one too. Yeah. I think it's good. Uh, if the, Kevin says, you know, that's what the plan does are today, if the Times change for any reason, I will let everyone know. And where is this going to be? In the, the track. Behind the right town hall. Uh, track. It's all commission of the course. I'm going to be voting tomorrow night as to whether or not to approve it. So, okay. Um, anything else on our July 10th? I think we're good. Awesome. The walking tour update um, Pat and I met, and we have an outline of our walking tour. We're considering a uh, virtual. Walking for first, maybe a PowerPoint presentation, and then followed by a group of, you know, walking with kind of people or so. It's still in the planning stages. Um, Rafa, I mean, you can take pictures and video us if you need be. Um, so uh, I talked with Mike Mullen about it briefly. He said we probably would have to touch base with the uh, town ferry, the police, and the fire department to. Make sure we're good. So when we get ready to do that, that's what we need to do. Anything else you have to add for that? It's really interesting. It is. It's, it's very interesting. interesting. Yeah, we've learned some things. So that's um, not all good. <laughs> oh. Now I went down this rabbit hole one night researching one of the gentlemen from the houses and found all kinds of newspaper articles that we never knew about. <laughs> that was great fun. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what we need to print out of. The <laughs> oh, yes. 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 Uh, we're saving that for our tour. <laughs> All right, moving on to our presentation and our survey is being ranked. Um, as we got it, so we're moving ahead. Rapper and I met this morning with Mike Clown. Um, we all three of us attended the Zoom meeting for the local project coordinators on May 26th and gave us the manual and 
basically step by step what we need to do, what forms we need to do, when we need to do it. Um, the manual gives you a cut and paste so that the request for quotes, the contract, everything is a template. Um, so we're working on that. Um, the first part of it has to be in by June 29th for the review, so we'll, we'll make that deadline. The actual, we have to sign a contract, the town of Dyke will have to sign a contract with the Massachusetts Historical Commission, which the board of the board is left in, left in that contract. Um, and that includes our scope of work. Then once we get that done, we'll work on, put out the request for quotes that we send to um, preservation consultants. We also put on the list serve for the mass preservation list serve um, so that you have people requesting your um, seeing your proposal and they'll submit their packages from there. Um, this will be done the request will go out by July 12th with returns from the interested consultants by August 11th. At that point in time um, we will have this go through the selection process. Uh, um, we thought that the selection committee will consist of all of us as the commission, um, inviting Barnett to join us, that will make seven because you a nice odd number because to make decisions it's easier with odd or even. And Mike would sit on that and participate as a non-voting member just to keep the nuts and bolts and how things should be done moving. Um, there will be criteria um, to be looked at, and we'll develop a rubric um, to evaluate each proposal that comes in. Um, so that's where we're at. That is really exciting. Mm -hmm. That is really exciting. Just a question. Um, does the uh, does Mass, the Mass Historic Commission aid this process at all? In other words, don't, don't they have a list of these you can get a, you can get a list of the um, consultants through Preservation Massachusetts website. They have a directory right there, and that's what the Historical Commission directed you to. So uh, the Historic Commission would see the list of available. They will review the list that you make. You you choose say four or five of your top ones that you want that you think that they'll review it. The list that you send to, because we have to send um, the request for quotes to certain people, we pick given their description on the directory on Preservation in Massachusetts. And both Rafa and I have looked at that before. You use just one of these entities and then they what? Bid sort of like? Yes, okay. it's okay. Yeah, they, they put their proposal in and you go through it. Um, okay. Make the match, you know, to us to the town. And, and the they give an estimate of the cost. They, they give you a cost for the project. And they know you have a, a limit of yeah, that's all okay. that's all in the request. Yeah. Okay. The project is outlined um, mm -hmm. very nicely, mm -hmm. very you know, completely. The scope of work that we put in with the grant that goes into it. The preliminary target list that we made that went in with the, the grant, so that goes into the request uh, for quotes. Um, okay. Our objectives, you know, we did work on the narrative. So they have all of the information what comprises our project. Remind me again to send you those things so that you know what we're talking about. Because I believe they all of you should have copies of that. Do they, um, how many times do they come to town? I mean, what, the consultant? Yeah, I mean, <coughs> I, I think it depends on what needs to be done. How about we show them? What would you, if you had I can't talk this to this <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have our preliminary list to work with, so there are phases of the project. Yeah. Okay. So you start, you know, working with the consultant, narrowing it down because, you know, for the cost, it's estimated that we'll get 100, properties right. inventory to put on the survey on the uh, Mapless website. 
when the project is all said and done, we will have copies of all of that um, digital and uh, yeah, so that it's available to you know the different commissions and boards in town and also for the public. So we're going to uncover some scandalous stories. Oh, we just might. Who knows? So, uh, so we're moving along. Really exciting. Does anyone have anything else on that? Um, the historical house market program. Did you have a letter back up for the homeowners? Hmm? Did you write a letter for the homeowners in the national district? No. Okay, I'll put it on right. next next yes. month's agenda. <laughs> yes. Did you contact the crossroads? No, I forwarded the email for the crossroads. Okay, the crossroads put a article. It was on Facebook. And it was a very nice article. Crossman's owned the really old house on Lincoln Ave that we talked about with the fancy chimney. Who does who? Last name is Crossman. I think her name is George. It's the house right next to John's house. Right next door to the that old so, uh, it, exactly. 18th century house. So in the in the article that I read, which was printed somewhere, it said they're in the process of obtaining a uh, historical marker. And I'm saying, oh. I didn't see your name on anything. Where are they getting their historical mm -hmm. marker from? So I had nothing to forward you <coughs> other than you're on, it was on back in the day. Mm -hmm. And they said that they were in the process of obtaining a historical marker for their home. Well, I'm thinking they're getting it from somewhere else. Because if you don't know anything about this, then I'm thinking they're not going to you. So if you wanted to approach them and say, hello, we do that. Right. Yeah. Oh, that was my I mean, it's on the website, right? It's on the website. Okay. Okay. So, um, did you get the marker apart from ours? Yeah. We brought it down. What do you think? Is that on one last Well, I think it's not the same thing. <laughs> All right, so do, do check I don't even know what to put in the notes for that. Yeah, I'm no, just going to like, let's be a schedule. So, after for July, draft a letter that'll go to the homeowners in the National Register District about our marker program. And then um, we'll go from there. They should at least have them. So, the next item is the repurposed wood from the James Grace House. Jim Aguiar approached me um, regarding the repurposing of the floorboards from the James Briggs House if they are being used over a town hall in the clerk's area, the town clerk's area. Um, and in order to recognize where the wood came from, he asked if we would be willing to provide a plaque indicating that the wood was from the James Briggs House, just to put um, on the wall near the town clerk's window so that everyone knows that that wood has a story. So I thought I would bring it forward. Could the plaque come out of the 2021 budget? We probably wouldn't have time so it would be in the 2022. We don't have a lot for 2022, that's why. Well, Could the plaque come out of the 2021 budget? We'd have to have a quote by... I think it's a nice idea. Yeah. I think we can, because um, we have to choose thirty, right? Yeah, we have to cover the funds before then. I think. Yes, I mean it's a come cut off date. Even yeah, there is a cut off date. Yeah. Uh, the uh, two weeks. Have something like that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I know. See? Yeah. <laughs> so. We can help ourselves. <laughs> if we, yeah. if we, I think it's a good idea too because it shows that we care about. We care about. Right, right, right. All right. All right. All right. So, uh, Al, who would like to enter? You know, um, pricing and possible plaque. I saw you just sent an email before our meeting to wrap yeah. about yeah. Yeah. some yeah. signage. Yeah. Um, Tom, let me ask you a question. Was it Tom that suggested this? No. Okay. Yeah. okay, I'm sorry. 
I'll entertain the motion to um, explore pricing of flats for the James Brace Wood and wording, I guess. I think we've got to do wording first because then that yeah. it helps us yeah. Oh, yeah. get a vote and decide how much the size. I think, I think we don't want it too big because yeah. it's just going to be like on the wall. So I'm thinking just literally just the, the wood for these floors was repurposed from a house in the day owned by and was installed in 2021. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't know people are going to take the time to take one too. What kind of wood is it? Oh, is know. it pine? No. I think it's a stomach. I wish I could show some enthusiasm for that idea. However, I would vote for it. But to me, it's sort of like making a uh, some sort of a mental from a, a dead body, basically. Well, I only seen the negative part of that, so I wouldn't be interested in looking, say, as someone to look at something on the wall about it. I think just a nice, a good picture, a well done photograph of what the house will look like rather than it sounds almost obscene to have a piece Maybe of Maybe, uh, I, I, I think I'm getting comfortable, sorry. Um, but the photograph idea and then alongside it is the description of the Yeah, the maybe that would reinforce it a little bit nicely, more nice you know, than just just that here's a piece of the floor that uh, I like that idea. I do too. And I understand the yeah. morbidity of it, I guess, for lack of a better word. I do. I get that as well. But our, I think our manager is always, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle, right. repurpose, yeah. I guess. So we tried everything. Right, nice, nice picture of the house mm -hmm. used to look like the top and the bottom and the top. Right at the top of the glass and stuff. That's good. We're not going to have a glass. Hmm? We're not going to have a glass. We have to spend time. Oh, we spent. Hey, use it or lose it. You know what? I, I was just thinking on that same line. Um, they're obviously in major cities like New York and Boston have lost a lot of buildings due to very simple reasons, development or whatever. And uh, people have published books on, you know, picture books. I have some, you know, lost Boston, lost New York, mm -hmm. and it shows some of amazing pictures of what was lost. And we we should stop one <laughs> in case there are any more. <laughs> Well, I'd rather, see, I'd rather keep it positive, you know? No, but it's not. Yeah. You I'm not talking about what we saved. <laughs> well, I, I, well, I, know, I yeah. know what you mean. Yeah. I'm not yeah, saying that, that this, this is... In Swansea that we went to once, right? Before. Okay, but let's get back to topic here. Um, um, Kim, um, so if we do a photograph with an inscription of it in a nice frame that explains what the wood is, where the wood is from, that you feel would be a better tribute to the mm -hmm. repurposing of the wood. All right, I'll right. entertain a motion. If we yeah. can find a really good quality picture from somewhere, I don't know, somebody does anybody have a picture of the house? That would be sad if we no one ever took a picture of the place. I'm not sure if you can take the Pictures from the early American because that house was in the early American. I don't know if we can use those pictures. Though. But we caught that in the barracks to see if the yeah, the children have had contact yeah. with him. So yeah, to see if they have a picture. Yeah. Yes. As a minimum, you can go to uh because I go on Silo a lot. Silo keeps the house when it was up to sale. Um, yeah. 
and yeah, it will. They tease them for a while after, you know. It'd be nice to be out of picture when I was in its prime. And it has so, interior shots too, the Zillow of uh, what, what it was prior to the. So if you're really down to it, you haven't, can't find any yeah, outside things. <laughs> but we have a way of contacting the they contacted the town and they information to the garden, right? Yeah, maybe we have a Okay. All right, I'll entertain a motion um, to, let's see now, to purchase and design a, a picture plaque for the repurposed wood in the town hall from the James Briggs house. Well, that's kind of jumbled cap. <laughs> I still move. Okay. Good okay. second. Okay, shall we vote? Wrap up? Aye. Pat? Aye. Pam? Aye. Bill? Aye. Aye. Bill and I have also an aye. Okay. Um, I know you just sent an email earlier with um, design things. I'll put that on the agenda for sure. July. Mm -hmm. And that along that same line, <clears throat> Bill, you would say at one point you were going to do some research on, on James Briggs family. You would um said that you were going to do some research on James Briggs. Uh, I have been I, uh, at the old colony in, uh, in Taunton, the library. I have done some because I wanted to see. I'm always a scene if I'm looking into a family indictment, you know, a whole family. Okay. And uh, but there was. I did find they have like a, a whole book just on bricks, you know, locally. Could you, for July's meeting, bring that information to share? Well, what kind of information you looking just for? Just the general story, some details. Genealogical. Yeah. Yeah. Keep in mind that, well, where I, yeah, sure, I can do that. Uh, where I ended up um, on that is it turns out that actually there are two James Briggs mm -hmm. Indicting, uh, separated by maybe 15 years. One, one was a little younger, maybe, than the other. So you can talk to that in July. Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Not to pass it on too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, under other, we still have one vacancy on the commission. Um, our next meeting is July 13th. Find my own at 7 p.m. For your information, mark your calendars. Preservation Massachusetts is planning a virtual conference September 23rd and 24th, and more information will be coming. Also, for you to think about is our July meeting is our reorganizing meeting for chair, vice chair, clerk, and CPC representative. So. Would like to be one of those or switch or whatever. Uh, July will be the time to do that. I assume everybody wants to be reappointed to the commission July 1st. Yeah, I think Rafa and Pam are up. Okay. Now, wait a minute, what was this? Was this oh, we, we have, actually, I think now we, everybody has a year, I think. No, we they just picked us last year for three years. Yeah. My I can't believe the time already passed. <clears throat> yes, it's Rafa and I. Yeah. So we're going to uh, reappoint at the last meeting in, uh, in June. Uh, the other thing is we spotlight a committee now every day before I start this meeting. Uh, this one is going to be guidance. Kind of cultural Council last meeting was the CBA. We start a commission. I want to think about doing that. What does that entail? Yeah, you have to the Write a letter and so the commission's about it, or you can actually go there and present something. I know there's EBA before the letter that we read. Just let the public know if the commission is about it, if you're interested in joining that kind of thing. So. I like that. We'll show up with our shirts and about, <laughs> give out some hands. About, <laughs> <laughs> so it's welcome. It's a little It's a little Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. 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 So what's the... It doesn't have to be at the next meeting. Actually, 
the next one is Jonas probably the one we just got I would, so. I would say that Joe likes to kind of. Yeah, we've got a couple busy months coming up. That's fine, just keep it in mind. Okay. Okay. Um, yes. So, how often do the selection meet? Because I know you're getting ready to do um, what we need for Mrs. Barbosa. Will we meet again before Mrs. Sylvia? When is Mrs. Sylvia? The 28th. Yeah, I'm oh. sorry. Yes. Okay, so I don't need to worry about that. That will be in your June 23rd Good. packet. Great, great. Next thing. Uh, I understand I read somewhere that Myrna put on a cemetery tour with Tom Ferry. Anybody? Oh, uh, that, that came through uh, the second half learning program. Okay, any chance we could get either a copy of that or a repeat performance? Uh, because I understood that she spoke to dying people in the cemeteries. You know, I, I don't mean like a psychic. She spoke to people. She spoke about the history of right, people, right. which I, I thought think, would be interesting. Yes, because I know someone that was on that tour. Okay. And I also, I'll call her. So if they Zoomed it or whatever, you know, could we get a copy or go on a tour? So they yeah. actually went to the cemetery. Yes. Four of them. So four in the <coughs> They went to oh, four cemeteries? cemeteries. Yeah. The historic society is having a walking tour. That's another thing we would like to talk about. They're having the um, Great Mad Girls. Yeah. The historical society is putting it on September 9th at 6 p.m. So it's still like them. Yeah. 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 And I have been on their tour before of the Unitarian Cemetery, which is where I'm guessing they're going again. Right. Okay. And it's phenomenal. It's a wonderful tour. So I had a wonderful time. We had a rainy day, so we had umbrellas, but great tour. So that's why I was, Myrna's talking more to the people, and this woman talks more to the headstone, symbolism, different types of uh, oh, markers for dead people. So, I mean, there's not a conflict. Right. right. I, I'd be very interested in hearing what Myrna had to say about, and which four cemeteries did she go to? I mean, I would find yeah. that fascinating. Um, I would say, how did you, I didn't even know that. Did I see it? Was that uh, on Facebook? Oh, it was after the fact. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. See, I want to know about See, the second yeah. half yeah. learning offers different courses in different things. Okay. Uh, and I thought I'd see Fall River with that. Does it sound right? And it's an adult education kind of. Um, I'm very much with it. Yeah. 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 So everything from calligraphy to. Everything we can imagine. Yeah. So this was part of. In one of the classes, I think. Um, and so we took the trip. I, I don't know who arranged, but I can see where I can find out for us. Um, and we did the bus, and it was, the people that were on the tour weren't necessarily from Dyke. Right, right. Yeah. I went on September 9th when Brenda Sullivan was going to to use the great, you know, the great mm -hmm. And um, a lot of the people that are on our walking tour are buried in the Unitarian Cemetery, so we'll be able to help all of the people. Those are so popular now. Yeah, those tours or the lantern tours in Newport and Providence. All right. What exciting times. Well, are you getting ready to ask for a motion to adjourn? I am. Before you do that, can we just circle back to can we circle back to the pastries just so we don't have eight dozen chocolate chip cookies? Okay, so will you bake? Yeah, you don't have to bake. You can buy something. I don't care. Two dozen. Two dozen. Okay, so I'm thinking there's approximately fifty people coming to this thing. Why are you looking at me? I didn't want to make you look. Because you eat a lot. So not if you have chocolate chip cookies. Bring the dog. So. Guessing, I mean, just basing it on 50 people. So two, two dozen, two dozen, two dozen, two dozen. 48. Oh, no. Okay. Six. Why six. don't I, on, um, it's a week away. So let me touch base with Burr closer, right? Like, Saturday, Sunday, is that enough time for everybody? Why I mean, what if she suddenly changes from 30 to 10? I'll take the leftovers. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> we have less to do for... If you, I want to make a batch of cookies. And what are you thinking? That's why I didn't, we don't, we don't want to I'm just probably going to buy um, those frosted ones. Well, 
The frosty ones. The frosty ones. ones. The red white that she likes. Yes, no, they got the red, red white blue. They sell them right in everywhere. You know what I mean? They, they, they just do 2000. Like yeah. sugar cookie with red yeah, like a sugar frosting. cookie with frosting. Gotcha. I, I don't think we would be able to make it. Gail, yeah, what are you good for? I'll do a little more. I'm sorry, you what? Oh, raisin. Raisin. Oh, raisin. There we go. I'm trying to impress somebody. Yes, she is, isn't she? <laughs> do I have to accept? <laughs> well, you're not going to, so now you know you're not going to do a sugar right. cookie and right. you're not going to do oatmeal raisin. I was going to do my um, shortbread bars. Oh, yeah. And I was going to do, uh, I wasn't going to do two dozen of the same one. You could, but I was going to do a dozen and a dozen. I was going to do peanut butter cookies. So peanut butter yeah, and right. shortbread bars. Maybe I'll make comments. There you go. Just so we have an idea of what the other yeah. person yes. yes. Yeah, that's all. Let me know the point of it. And so, then on the 28th, we're looking at 20 people max. So are we going to have leftovers that we might freeze? Or so if we do two dozen for this one, then it's one dozen for the next one. Okay. And that should be a point. I just want to. Got my eyes and press the I don't need them. Uh, we'll borrow. Let's take the leftovers I'll give them to give him to the all his crew is going yeah. back to Burke's house. So you let the punch bowl and you don't make punch. Not a bowl. Yeah. As long as it stores a lot, that's all. Would one of you want to do the cup since he's doing the punch? I mean, <clears throat> Little cups. You want cups that are little. Six, eight, eight ounces, probably. Eight ounces too big. Mm. Too big. Yeah, that's too big. You want like a four ounce cup. Yeah, 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 really. I can see you go shopping a lot. Uh, four, sure. four ounce cups. Okay, well, thank you. That way, the, uh, you shouldn't have to. You're going to let us know. Right. I will. I'll send out an email. Um, <laughs> Do we want clear cups? Just don't bring us the red solo cups and we'll put the beer in there. No, we can't. Wrap up. This is not a bunch. Okay. We have a reset. We do have a reset. Are we all set? I'm all set. I'm all set. Are you set? I'm all set. make a motion. You make a motion to adjourn. Adjourn. Do you have a second? A second. Non discussion item. All in favor? All in any extensions? No. Okay. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night. I'm fine. Tomorrow. No, I can't send you that. Yeah, you sure? Of course, I don't mind. It's right here.